Let's look here at a bunch of reactions needed to convert drinking alcohol ethanol into alanine. How do we start? CH3, CH2, OH. I need to convert OH into a good leaving group and I can in the presence of a mild acid. Two of these electrons will attack that proton and pull it to it. You'll have CH3, CH2, OH2 plus. Now oxygen is charged division but this entire complex over here is a good leaving group. In the presence of a good nitrile, which is a nucleophile, it's a nucleophile nitrile, I can attack and depart the water. You'll have a water byproduct, but you'll also have CH3, CH2, and your nitrile coming in. Now you have three carbons, that's what I wanted, because I want to convert this to carboxylic group. That will be the start of my amino acid backbone coming. In the presence of water and a acid, but it's a long reaction, time-wise it takes a while. You can hydrolyze it to this. You'll have carboxylic group coming out. Now we have propionic acid. On this alpha carbon, I want to bring a bromine. I'll do Br2, phosphorus tribromide, a small amount. A byproduct will be this. One of these bromines will attack with that, bro with that hydrogen. You'll have a HBr, but the other bromine will add right here to your alpha carbon to give you this, CH3. CHBr. This is what I want. And then obviously your carboxyl functionality. Now what we need to do is bring an amino group here and you can by means of ammonia in the presence of water. This is NH3. One of these hydrogens will attach to that Br. You'll have a HBr byproduct. But the other item NH2 will add right over here to give you what you want. CH3. Here's my hydrogen. Here's my NH2. And here's my COOH. This right here is your amino acid, alanine. You have your R group, which is methyl. You have your hydrogen, amino group, and carboxyl. This carbon right here is a chiral carbon surrounded by four different items. I'm just showing you the general form, not the physiologic form, but the alanine amino acid is synthesized.